Hey guys, it's Jillian and today I'm going to talk to you about something very important in my life and in eBay. I've quit my job and I am now selling on eBay full time, but it's only going to be for about 10 weeks. Here's the story right now. I got into dental hygienist school. I previously worked as an aide for special ed children and I had to quit my job. It's summertime, school's out, so I had to quit my job in order to start dental hygienist school in August. So I am an unemployed student. And right now I am going to hit eBay so hard. So here's my strategy. I am going to bulk up my store as much as I can within the next 10 weeks. So I'm still gonna buy a few summer pieces, but I'm mainly gonna focus on stuff that's gonna sell in Q4. Um, and back to school as well. So a little bit more sweaters and things like that. I'm kind of not so much little tank tops and dresses and swimsuits. If, you know, if it's a good brand, I'll always buy it no matter what time of year. But I am focusing more on fall and winter um, because when I start school, I'm not going to have a lot of time to list. So my plan is to list as much as I can and then while I'm in school, stick to like five items a day just to keep my eBay store rolling. Hopefully that's enough to keep me in favor favorable odds with analytics. Um, we'll see. Because uh, it is really important to list every day. I just know that I'm not going to be able to list massive amounts every day while I'm in school. So right now I have 125 listings. Um, I'm a relatively new eBay seller. I've been doing it for about a year. I am not like large scale by any means, but I really, really want to get at least 300 listings going before I start school. So that's my goal. I want to jump from 125 to 300. Um, so I figured since I'm not working, I'm doing eBay full time, I will do videos more often, more like vlog style videos, and um, keep you guys updated with my progress. And I hope, I'm hoping that I can raise enough money to where I don't have to take out a whole lot of student loans. That's my goal. Let's see if I can do it. Um, and if you got a little bit more background about me, the reason why I am doing an eBay YouTube channel is because I was a YouTuber before I was an eBay seller. I had a, another channel about Dollar Tree and saving money. And being the Gemini that I am, I got bored with that and switched gears. So. I built that channel up to like 4,000 subscribers, no, 7,000 subscribers, and then I just kind of lost interest. But anyways, I'm an eBay seller now, so this is my new channel, this is my new dedication and my new passion, and I just want to share my experiences with you guys. And I know how important it is to share tips and tricks. I would not be where I am if I did not watch other YouTubers and follow people on Instagram. I mean, I can name off all the people that I follow, but it's I pretty much follow all of them. I love watching YouTube, and I think it's such an amazing learning tool. So I hope that I can provide you guys with some type of, you know, good content to where you, you gain some knowledge from me, or even feel free to comment and share your knowledge with me. Let's help each other grow. Oh, and be sure to follow me on Instagram because I do post on the, my stories. I think that's an easier way to just share little tips that pop into my head. You know, as I'm doing something myself, I think, oh my gosh, this would be something cool to share with everybody else and help them learn. So I do a lot on Instagram as well. And right now I have two hauls for you guys. I went to, today's Wednesday, I went to my regular old thrift store on Monday. I filmed a haul for you guys and yesterday I went to Goodwill and I filmed a haul. So. That will be at the end of this video and I will, I think I'll check in with you guys every Wednesday and let you know how many listings I have and also do like a vlog style showing you what items have sold. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy the haul and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Alright, here's my Goodwill haul. Um, I kind of bought things that I normally wouldn't buy. Um, because Goodwill, my Goodwill, every shirt is $3.29, every dress is $3.29, that's just the way it is. Um, but I was honestly trying to bulk up my store and I did try a few new things. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is a Banana Republic dress, size medium. It's a sweater dress. Like I said, I am bulking up for winter. And 320. Oh, that was more. What the fuck? Uh uh.
they have never put 429 on any of their dresses that just shows i need to look at the tags i probably would not have bought this i know it's only a dollar but it doesn't matter man not happy about that anyways this is a lucky brand top usually i try to get these for around a dollar this one was 329 but two things it is more of a newer style, and usually when I find lucky tops, they're kind of more plain. They're a little more outdated. All right, guys, so this is my thrift store haul that I did on Monday. I lost the audio to this clip. I don't know what happened. It's just silent, so I'm recording the audio over this at a later date, so if it doesn't add up or whatever, that's why. Um, so I spent $25.68. I don't remember how many items I got now, but it was a lot. Um, so the first item I got was this Tahari blazer and yellow tags were 75% off. So I paid a little over 50 cents for this thing. Can you believe that? The buttons are really cool too. I liked how they looked kind of different. And I, the comps looked really good on these. I think I can do around 30 bucks. Maybe a little more. We'll see. Even if I have to sit on it for a little while, that is okay. Um, and I went through the blazer section. I normally don't do that, but I'm trying to branch out. I'm trying to fill my store with different types of things. So hopefully it works out and it sells. And this is another blazer, again, 75% off. So I paid a little over 50 cents. And it's from Lane Bryant. And it's got a cool style to it. It's almost a crop top kind of blazer with a three-fourth three sleeves. Um, and the cool detail on the back. I think I can do about 20 for that. And now we're into all the regular just half off stuff. So this is an Ann Taylor blazer. I've never sold one of these either. So hopefully it does well. And it's just a nice black blazer from Ann Taylor. And I didn't see how much it cost, but it was under $2. So... I end up paying probably $1.50 or $2 for it when all is said and done. This is a denim jacket from Gap. And on the tag, it says it's from 2006. I paid 2 bucks for it. It's black denim. It is a little worn. There's no holes or flaws, but you can just tell that somebody loved this jacket. And I think that's okay for older denim. I think people are expecting it to be a little bit worn, right? I hope. I mean, there, like I said, there's no flaws, but it's just a cool looking jacket. And hopefully it will sell. I don't know what I'm showing you guys here. I can't remember. But yeah. Then this is from Dress Barn, which I usually don't pick up. Um, I paid, it looks like, $1.50 for it. But it's new with tags. Yeah. And it's a medium. It's a really pretty, like, dinner blouse. Something that a woman would wear out to dinner. It's sparkly and cheetah print. This is an Ann Taylor sweater. I paid a dollar for it. Like I said, I'm trying to stock up on that back to school Christmas time stuff. So I thought that was a good find. You know, it's in really good shape, really pretty, something I would wear. And I got a Christmas sweater. Why not, right? I think it was around 75 cents. So, or 65 cents. It was a dollar 30, yeah. So why not, right? Somebody will buy it. I have it listed right now and it actually has more views than that Ann Taylor sweater. So for some reason people are, are still looking at Christmas stuff this time of year. And then I found these really cool Galaxy cat tights. So you know I had to look those up and the comps actually looked pretty decent. They're from Freeze. I don't know, never heard of it. But it looks like it's something that people will buy. I paid $1.50 for them. The girl in line behind me at the thrift store was like, oh my gosh, let me see those tights. I totally appreciate things like that. And I didn't have the heart to tell her I was just reselling them. <laughs> and this next item is a J. Crew button up shirt. I paid $1.50 for it. And I think it's a size medium or large, one of the two. I sold a plaid one of these for a pretty good amount of, for, for about 20 bucks. So I don't know how well the floral pattern will do, um, but we'll see. And then this one is, oh, this brand. Um, the comps are up and down. I think it's an inexpensive brand. If it doesn't sell, I'm just going to keep it because it's my size and I actually really like it. Um, so that was my plan. Um, 
I forget how much I ended up listing it for, but yeah, that brand does pretty well. And then this was interesting. It was a blazer from Silence and Noise, which is an Urban Outfitters brand, I believe. Either ur Urban or Anthropology, but I think it's Urban Outfitters. Um, so I was like, why do they sell blazers? But it's already got um, a lot of views and one watcher, so yeah. And then this is a jacket from Chico's, Energy by Chico's. Uh, I paid $1.50 for it. Or Zen Energy, not Energy, I'm sorry. And I have it listed for $19.99 right now, and it has quite a few views and a watcher on it. I didn't know that, I knew Chico's did okay. I didn't know that the Zen Energy did well too, but it's a really nice jacket in really good shape. It feels really soft and comfy, and it has a hood that's like hidden into the collar, like zips out and flops down. And this is, and I think it's an Ann Taylor, was it Ann Taylor? What the heck was that? I didn't see it. No, Lane Bryant. It's a Lane Bryant sweater. I don't usually pick up Lane Bryant sweaters and tops. They don't always do so well, but it's in really good shape and really cute. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, oh, these are Vince Camuto, I guess that's how you say it, leggings. And they have a faux leather patch on the inside of the knee, kind of like a riding equestrian style legging. And the only thing that sucks about this is the size tag was ripped out. So I think I have them listed for 25. So hopefully they do well. So that's my first haul. All right, here's my good will haul. Um, I kind of bought things that I normally wouldn't buy because um, Goodwill, my Goodwill, every shirt is $3.29. Every dress is $3.29. That's just the way it is. Um, but I was honestly trying to bulk up my store, and I did try a few new things. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is a Banana Republic dress. Size medium. It's a sweater dress. Like I said, I am bulking up for winter. And $3.20. Oh, that was more. What the fuck? Uh-uh. They have never put 429 on any of their dresses. That just shows I need to look at the tags. I probably would not have bought this. I know it's only a dollar, but it doesn't matter. Man, not happy about that. Anyways, this is a Lucky Brand top. Usually, I try to get these for around a dollar. This one was 329 but two things. It is more of a newer style, and usually when I find Lucky tops, they're kind of more plain. They're... A little more outdated plus I'm trying to bulk up my store and lucky brand tops bring in a lot of traffic to my store people are always looking at them and viewing them watching them so I figured it would be good to pick up and I could still probably get about 15 for this that's not exactly the return on investment I like from three dollars but it's okay it'll do and this will be really super easy and fast to list this I don't know umji am I saying that right um, never heard of the brand, but I looked at the comps and it looked pretty good. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm, I think I should be able to do around 18 bucks for this. I do have a little bit of sweater shaving to do, but that's okay. Not too bad. And then my Goodwill actually had a clearance section. I've never noticed that before. Again, I probably, I've only been shopping there for a year. So maybe it just happens at this time of year and I didn't know. But they had things for 99 cents. And this is, was a pair of Apartment 9 work pants. And I know work pants can do pretty well. I didn't even look them up, so I don't know. But for a dollar, I was willing to take the gamble. I checked these high and low, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with them. So this was also 99 cents. It's a White House Black Market shirt, size medium. Really cute shirt. It, I think it will do well near fall or back to school. I just do have a little bit of sweater shaving to do, but that's not hard. Um, I like to watch the Posh Hangers um, Instagram stories. And she suggested just taking a straight up razor and just like shaving it off. And that works perfectly. That little tip changed my life. That is why it's really important for... For us resellers to follow each other and watch each other and learn little tips, it's so helpful. Um, this is a Moda International dress. This is a clothing brand that was sold at Victoria's Secret. And it is $3.29. I wonder if they thought that 
Banana Republic dress was a coat. Sometimes they get confused at Goodwill. <laughs> um, and coats are that price at four twenty nine. dollars But anyways, so the last Moda International dress I sold was that denim one, and I sold it for $35. So I was like, let me just check the comps on the non-denim dresses, and it looks like it, I should still be able to do between $17 and $20 on the just regular dresses from Moda International. This again, I never heard of. It's a soy boo athletic top. The comps were a little up and down, but I'm thinking I should be able to do like 16 to 17 on this shirt, and it's in really good shape. You know, you just pick up something and you're like, yeah, that was probably never worn. That's what this feels like. This, okay, this is Fire Los Angeles. Actually, don't pick it up. The comps are not that great, but. This shirt is on point. Look at it. It is complete pheasant boho. Look at the sleeves. They're not only belled, they're like angled belled. I can sell this. I just, just based on style alone, I had to pick this up. And it's in really good shape too. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. $3.29. I'm checking every price now. Like, did Goodwill rip me off again? This, uh, I don't know if I should have bought. It's an INC top. And I bought a top similar to this before that had, it had a similar design, but it was embroidered and I, and I was able to get 20 for it. I picked this up because the design was similar and it had all the rhinestones. I don't think I'll get 20 for this one though. Um, it's only a large. The other one I picked up was extra large and I think that helped in my price that I got. But it'll fill my store. It's cute. Maybe 14. I don't know. These, I'm not sure about. Not at all. And I paid a lot for them. They're Farrah um, ski pants. And when I looked them up, the ones that were, there weren't very many currently listed. I mean, it is the middle of summer. But they had them listed pretty high. And then the comps were around 25, 30 bucks, which I'm fine with. Um, so they're 429. They are new. That's why I was like, let me just take a little gamble. And if you can see there, they're $160 brand new ski pants. Although this little receipt here says the guy paid $49 for them. I'm just going to cut that right off. But um, so I'm thinking in the winter, somebody will buy these. I might be able to get a little more once the weather changes. My hair is already all over it. Um, so I might list these at $50 and just let it sit until, until winter. That's my plan. We'll see if I get that. All right, that's it from Goodwill.